What is going on everyone? Today we are breaking down what exactly player shops and stalls do for you in Ashes of Creation, the difference between these and more. Do you ever just sit in a city with your bags filled, hoping to find the right buyer for the goods you have gathered? Or have maxed out on a profession but just don't know how to broadcast your services? Well, in Ashes of Creation, this all changes as players can now own their own shops along with renting stalls. Both of these features are different from one another and may depend on your playstyle when deciding which one you want to choose. Starting with player stalls, these stalls can be found in the markets within nodes. To acquire one, you will pay a rental fee to use that stall and an NPC will show up to sell your goods. You list the items that you want to get rid of and the NPC will now be linked to your warehouse which are storage points within nodes to put all of your goods so they don't take up your main inventory space. Once you have set up shop, well, there will be a bulletin board set up around the region that will show you the location of the stall and what is being sold. Be cautious though, as if a node becomes under siege and destroyed, you will lose some of the items in this node storage. You won't only be able to sell goods, but sell your services as well, such as enchanting or gear repairing, allowing the player to input the resources required to the NPC to get the job done. While your stall is set up, it will take on the appearance and feel of what you're trying to sell as well. So for example, if you are selling cloth, the stall should have a bunch of cloth laid out on display to give people a visual cue of what is being sold when you walk by. The number of stalls per market changes depending on the size of the node, and it is unknown how exactly this works. I would hope that once all of the stalls fill up that there would be some sort of cue system stating that a stall has become available and you have X amount of time to claim it before it goes Goes on to the next person, but we will have to wait and see a bit on how exactly that will happen. For player shops, otherwise known as personal shops, these buildings will require a placement certificate which allows you to place in your freehold or near a unique building. If these certificates come from a metropolis node though, it will allow you to stick the stall anywhere in the world so you can literally find a crossroad or a busy trail to set up shop on for players to come visit. The only downside to shops though is that there is no NPC running it. For your shop to be open, you will have to be present in the shop, standing there to sell your services. Players will know what you have due to a custom billboard you can create that will appear above your character, showing players what's in stock at your shop, and this shop will be linked up to the items you have in your inventory. Be careful though, as players can kill you while you are running your shop, but this will still be tied into the corruption system, so some player will be risking themselves to be flagged as corrupted if they just come in and murder you. These stalls and shops though won't take the place of auction houses, which can be found in economic nodes. Auction houses work as you are used to, players list items for a certain cost and other players can buy them. The only difference is you can only list certain items depending on the node's level. And the auction houses aren't linked up to each other across the server. Unless you have a metropolis economic node, then you can link up the auction house to another metropolis economic node, which could be beneficial if you are in need of more resources that aren't low located in your area. What are your thoughts on player shops and stalls in Ashes of Creation? Let me know in the comments down below and if you have yet to create an Ashes account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below, otherwise be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications and stay tuned for a lot more to come.